Let me describe a typical day of planning an advocacy session or an activism program. Um, we, I wake up in the morning and the first thing I do is check my phone and to see if everyone has confirmed for the meeting and everyone is on their way. And then we meet either at the university or somewhere off campus and we sit together and we start thinking about the issue. For example, if we're campaigning based on a case or something, an incident that happened, a gender-based violence case that is in the courts or in the police station, we try to find out as much information about the case and there will be one person responsible telling us about that or that person could be me. And then we talk about how we campaign to our community. For example, if you're doing advocacy work on the university, you need to take into account the age group, the cultural composition, and the kind of language we need to be using while preparing the pamphlets, preparing the questions, the talking points, and other things. Then we divide up the work. One person will be designing the pamphlets, one person will be uh, working on the responses, and one person would be coming up with the poster ideas and other things, or fun ideas to engage people who come to the table to have a conversation with the team. So we, we, we also then have students who would be communicating with the media to share what's happening on the university because we wanted to have that team to impact the public conversation out there. And then we would have social media campaigns. And so we would connect, someone would be responsible for that, and there would be like graphics team and people designing for that as well. So all of that would be planned first, and then uh, tasks would be uh, assigned. And after that, my most important job would be to make sure that the team has the right information. But the most important thing in advocacy is understanding your community, who you're talking to. And because you learn so many things and you have this sense of urgency, it's very easy to be angry with people, to be frustrated, and to judge them for holding such views. And so the most important thing would be for, for my students and for myself as well to learn how to speak without being condescending, how to speak without being uh, disrespectful, and or how to be passionate without um, projecting that anger on people. And so teaching those subtle skills, emotional skills, and watching the team working and then intervening in a, in skillfully and saying, I would frame that response this way. When he asks a question like that, even though it's incredibly sexist, the most important thing is for him to connect with you so that they can come back for more questions. So ask yourself, why is he thinking that way? Why is she holding these views? So basically my job would be to kind of take that uh, anger and take that frustration and transform it into a powerful passion that could connect with people. And I have seen my students grow over the years in the way they talk to people, in the way they communicate with the team. And that matters a lot because advocacy is about working with your community, moving your community forward without uh, being disrespectful or judgmental or exclusionary because it's about social transformation and it's about all of us. And gender equality is not about what men do to women. It's about how we are as a society. And the only way we're going to move forward is understanding that connection. So on a typical day, we do that planning, we implement it, and then at the end, I would take my observations, take notes, and give feedback to, to the team, either on the same day or another day, and then learn from that and plan again.